Stephen Roper, I'm the Prime School Coordinator, and this is Ross Dale, our wonderful friend and digital artist. And we are in the midst of our Minecraft Masterclass week, where we've been inviting school groups to come down and go on a, a bit of an adventure with yeah. us, yeah. both in the real gallery and in our virtual, specially yeah. created gallery in Minecraft world. Yeah. Um, now we know that Minecraft is on the imagination of children uh, and it's a fantastic educational resource. It can be. Yeah. can be, yeah, yeah. When, when behaving. Um, what do you think makes our resource that little bit different? Well, I suppose it's been interesting to try to use the mobile version of Minecraft, which is, I think it's kind of overtaken um, the kind of original PC version of the game. Certainly, yeah, more popular, I think. Certainly in sort of the younger age group. So today we've got um, year fours, year fives and sixes yesterday. So, you know, it's really inside that age group's kind of culture and in their kind of consciousness. So and many parents probably know their children watch Minecraft on YouTube. It's massive, isn't it? It's massive. It is a, it is a kind of social phenomenon in the same way that Lego was for maybe much older people. Yeah. Um, so, so what's different really is to try to use the mobile version as a way of having an augmented virtual space of the Whitworth mm -hmm. and seeing how that, and kind of doing a little bit of action research in how um, the game might affect engagement or the way people explore young people explore um, spaces like this. I mean, the other thing about Minecraft, and we've talked about this, is that in some settings it's it's a way in to learn about something. But on the other hand, it can also be really disruptive. And it's like any good innovation, it's extremely disruptive. Yeah. And it's, that can work in a good way and a bad way. So Being a bit of a social playground, yeah. um, the, the resource this last yeah. week, hasn't it? Uh, yeah. We've we've been asking the children to become quite familiar with the gallery spaces themselves, and of course seeing the art room, because without yeah. the art, there'd be no, no there'd be workshop, no, there'd be no yeah. the Minecraft model, yeah. so it's important for the children to get familiar with the spaces and the yeah. exhibits that are on yeah. display. Um, but it's been such a useful tool for them to be able to help build narratives, tell yeah. stories, yes. uh, and respond to the collection, both in-game and whilst they're actually in front yeah. of the art. So but, I, been, but I think the point, about what we're trying to do is that it becomes, uh, there's a sense of agency in those narratives that belongs to them. So that's probably where we're coming from on using Minecraft. It's not just that we want them to play Minecraft because kids can do that all day. Sure. But we're trying to yeah. use it in that way to give them some agency to, to connect to the work that's in the gallery. Um, uh, so like today, we are using the public model of the building for them to explore but we're also letting them to individually make really abstracted structures in the game based on um, an artist work who works in textiles. And, and there's always that link that textiles were very early, kind of almost digital. They are kind of virtual worlds that are sort of encoded in uh, fabric. Um, and so, they, so I think I think the young people are responding to that sense that oh, they can see the connection to the game world and to these these artworks. Um, but yeah, I think it's important to step out of the game and into the real world, and, and I think that's key to what we've been trying to do with the Whitworth, really. So it's been an interesting bit of research. Uh, and we'll be sure to possibly post up the, the results and the outcomes that the children have been making over the course of the week, and it's yeah. leading up to our big family event this coming weekend yeah. that's proved to be rather popular yeah. and that'll be going on in our grand hall so we'll be inviting other artists to come yeah. and link to themes in Minecraft yeah. uh, over the course of the two days. So, so it's been it's interesting because there is a bit of a community of artists and technologists who are using Minecraft in this sort of interesting way uh, and a lot of those artists are working for it with uh, tomorrow on the weekend so it'll be it's been an interesting seven days uh, and it'll be good to see yeah we'll see if we can write up some of that yeah. research to share yeah thank you